Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can turn any JPEG image into a pattern in Photoshop. Before we start this tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you how you can take a simple image of a piece of text with a colored background and make it into a pattern in Photoshop. And then we're going to do something similar, but this time we're going to take a balloon image and we're going to make it into a pattern. And you can use this process any time that you want to make a pattern from an image, a JPEG image, and you can do it very, very easily in Photoshop. To get started with our JPEG to pattern images in Photoshop, I've created a small document here with some text on it. At the moment, it's just a background layer and some text. Before I go ahead and create a pattern from it, I need to select both of these layers. So I'm going to click on one layer and shift click on the other and then choose edit and then define pattern. I'm just going to call this dream and click OK. And that's been created as a pattern piece. To use this particular image as a pattern, I'm now going to create a document that I can fill with it. I'll choose File and then New. I'm going to make this document 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels in size. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to fill it with my pattern. And I can do that in one of a number of ways. And one of the ways is to choose Edit and then Fill. From the Contents list here, I'm going to select Pattern. And then from the Custom Pattern list, I'm going to the very last pattern here, which is this one here. It's always the last pattern is the one that you've just created and click OK. And that's now filled this document with our pattern. Now it's also possible to fill it in a way that you can size the pattern as you do so. I'm going to add a new layer to this document and just turn off the background layer that we already created. And this time I'm going to choose Layer and then New Fill Layer and then Pattern. Now the difference with this is when I click OK, it defaults to using that last pattern anyway. So it's a little bit easier because you don't have to second guess where your pattern is. But look here, there's a scale option. And so we can scale this pattern to whatever size we like. So if I want it to be bigger, I can scale it to 150 or even 200%. Or if I wanted it to be smaller, then I could scale it down to, for example, 50% and it would be half the size of the original. So we get a lot more options if we use this Pattern Fill feature by choosing Layer, New Fill Layer and then Pattern Fill. It allows us to scale as we work. Now let's look at another pattern piece. This is an image which I downloaded from a site called Morg File. This is the Morg File site and you get to it by just typing in M-O-R-G-U-E-F-I-L-E dot com. You can download images from here that you can use. The only requirement is that you actually make changes to them. And since we're going to make changes to this image, we can download it and use it. So I have the image here. Now I can create a pattern piece from it. So let's just crop this image. I'm just going to click on the crop tool. I'm just going to crop it to a little bit more evenly around this particular hot air balloon. And then I'm going to create a pattern piece from it. So I'll choose Select All and then Edit, Define Pattern. I'll call this balloon. And now we can create a new document and fill it with our balloon pattern. File and then New. This time I'm going to make quite a large document. It's going to be 4000 pixels by 4000 pixels in size. And I'll click OK. And again I'm going to fill it with our pattern with Edit and then Fill. I'm choosing Pattern from the Contents list. Custom Pattern is going to be the last one in the Pattern dialog here. And I'll click OK. And this is now filled with our pattern. And of course we could use the same feature as we did before and size the pattern as we do it. I'm going to select an empty layer. Choose Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. I'm going to click OK. It'll default to our current pattern, the one we just created. And now, for example, I could resize it to say 25%. And I've got a lot of little balloons in my pattern. So there's a quick and easy way of turning a JPEG image into a pattern in Photoshop. 
I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.